because the day before this incident at San Francisco State, the Biden administration press secretary had a press release, a press conference where she says word for word, our trans community is resilient and they fight back. And I find it so ironic they were using the exact same verbiage, we fight back. They kept saying it continuously. And so I wanted to put that on the record because we've talked about it a lot stemming from the top on the other side, but I think it's crucial to understand that that, that goes both ways. Well, but these people, they were outside the rooms and one side of the hallway would yell, trans rights are under attack, and the other side would yell back, what do we do, we fight back. And they kept using the term, we fight back. Um, I don't know, again, it's just disheartening to be in the position I'm in, feeling like I'm asking for the bare minimum, um, feeling like I'm asking for something that is so simple that we all are entitled to, yet I'm being you know, held hostage. And there's one more piece I wanted to mention about this night that um, I haven't really touched on, I briefly touched on it in my testimony, but the verbiage outside the room, when I was still giving my speech, these protesters, um, the video doesn't do a good job showing of just how many were in these stairways. I mean, it was hundreds of people. 